Welcome to Engineering Scale Models. I'm Jason, your host, and I do models. How is everybody doing today? It is Monday, or Tuesday, I'm sorry, August 25th, 2020, and this is going to be a little update of what's coming up on the channel. I am bringing back a series that was semi-popular about a year ago on my channel, and I want to bring it back with the new setup that I have, and I have way more ability to... <clears throat> properly film it and do that type of thing so let's talk about that and then we'll talk about the setups I have so I have this overhead view here that is going to be the main camera that most of you all have seen and it is going to be covering the uh, make electronics so um, you have a scale model and you want to put some surface mount LEDs put them on a circuit and run a program and I'm going to be teaching you how to do that sort of thing with these uh, uh, Adrenos um, this is a uh, Mega and then I have um, some regular Unos here and then I also have some tiny Nanos that can be fit into a scale model and you can run LED lights, some sound, um, different types of um, automation say you have a tank and you want to put a servo on the turret to make the turret move side to side these are all things that you can do and I'm going to teach you how to do that kind of thing so I'm going to go through step by steps on understanding of um, how to use resistors LEDs how to solder surface mount and different things like that and I'm going to um, basically use this book as a guide I also have some other books and I have a I have a pretty good understanding on how the programming language works and everything like that and I'll be sharing that with you. I've held off on continuing this series because of the lack of space and the lack of camera angles that I've had before but now that I can have the two angles I can have the main the main screen here for the electronics and then I can have a side view of any kind of meter readings or tests we need to do that and then I can also bring up the other monitor where I can put the programming language on and we can actually go through writing the program and then I can actually manipulate the cameras to where you can see the programming language and you can see the um, unit working and then I also have this new edition that just arrived and it is a whiteboard so I can write E S M in pretty letters there I can go back to my black pen and then I can draw out different circuits so you guys can see you know what a circuit would look like that we're working on this one would be an LED so circuit so uh, I don't have the best handwriting in the world but I do have this option that I can put up and I can also manipulate it to have different different scenes and have the camera on there also and things like that so that's what I have um, so far that I'm working on I'm going to spend the rest of this week getting this um, up and going and then um, for next week's video I'm going to start my introduction to this and then we'll go over the the different setups on the computer, the programming language, um, any items and stuff that you may need to um, learn along with me or um, I'll give you the stuff ahead of time if you want to get it and do each step. It's nice this, um, this book tells you what you're going to need and whatnot. It's not a lot of stuff. It's like a meter, um, some batteries, resistors, things like that. Um, you can normally get these things in bulk um, from different places. So, clear off my whiteboard. So, that is the whiteboard. I hope you guys are going to enjoy that. As you can see it, you can see it right here off to my side. Um, I have the keyboard off to the other side for programming. I might have to put that down here, but then I have the positionable web camera that I can, you know, take and move and set it up to read meters and 
whatnot. So we're going to be doing some interesting stuff. We're also going to be working with some 555 timers, doing different timer circuits to um, pulsate lights, things like that. Whatever you need to pulsate on a timer system, you can run. Um, this book covers a wide range of, of stuff and I have all the uh, equipment to do all the experiments in here. I'm going to share that with you. And then we're also going to be learning the Odrino side of it to do the programming for different different types of operations. My original goal was to use a Warhammer um, Titan Knight, Imperial Knight, to put uh, electronics in it, but that that went sideways really quick um, because of my work area. I might bring that back in for some Warhammer Wednesday updates and stuff, but I want to be certain that I can move forward on that project, so I will wait before I discuss that any further. So, as I said, this is just a quick update on what's coming up. I want to get back into this, teach you guys how to put lights in, you know, different things in your models, how to make it super small. I have a lot of different ways that we can get down to basically a chip this size right here. You know, we could tuck that in anywhere and just cram it into the cavity of a, a tank or an aircraft and you have landing lights or anything you want like that. There is um, multicolored LEDs like here. This is a RBG LED. You can have it blink or turn on in multiple different colors. So you can put, use these type of things. They come in different sizes. I believe this is a 5 millimeter or 7. Let's see here. That is a 5 mil and they come as small as uh, it's a 3 millimeter so they come pretty tiny so you can stick those on your aircraft and have different landing lights you can get them in different colors you can have them in color changing have them color changing with different um, patterns automatically or you can hook them up to a um, control board like an Adreno and control it that way by programming a program to do it. The programming is pretty simple. If I could learn it, anybody can learn it. So it's not going to be too in-depth. We're not going to be doing real crazy stuff with the Adreno, but we're going to be doing some cool stuff, you know, to run lights or a servo maybe to make something move. Um, if you want, like, to try to make a rudder move, things like that, we're going to come up with some cool ways to do stuff like that. So that's going to do it for this um, video. I'd like to say thank you. Thank you. And I hope you stick with the channel to see what's coming up and to, you know, hopefully learn some information. Um, if you want to know more about what I'm doing, I'm starting to get back into these social media sites. I'm going to be posting some stuff after this video here about what's coming up and then if you want to support the channel further you can visit my patreon page and pledge something to help you know sustain the channel and make it grow and do more crazy things that's going to do it for this video guys thank you so much for watching and have a